Hi everybody, it's me the Garlax and also known as Gino. I'm going to do an unboxing review of one of my retro gaming. Uh, it's not really a gaming, it's the most oddest Terminator franchise product ever released on the PC. Um, probably seen in my previous review. It's called the T2 Limited Edition CD-ROM Utility. Entertainment Utility. It has its own sticker of authenticity. Right behind it, of course, um, basically it's Morphing Machinery Mayhem Terminator 2 Edition Entertainment Utility is here and it's built to blow your, uh, blow you away in boredom. Okay, what this is is actually um, before Windows XP came out, before Windows Vista and Seven, Windows 95 and Windows 98 was the most common operating system that has a GUI interface, and what this utility does is make your computer look like a Skynet or Terminator or whatever. I mean, really quick review real quick. <clears throat> it's a CD-ROM, not a DVD-ROM. It's nothing but a collected pictures that you got all over the internet compiled into one CD, but these pictures were never released on the net. They're specifically designed for this utility pack. I recall I used to walk around Price Club. Um, uh, this is a store where you buy things you know, very cheap. You have to be a member, but now it's called Costco. And let me open this guy up. And move the soda, move the soda, and let's see what's inside. Okay, of course it has this hard cardboard cover to keep the box sustaining from getting damaged. And then when I shake, you know, because when you shake a box, you know, when you shake it, it's like what's inside. Okay, what's inside? It comes with a promotional code of two night package packages starting from $79 per adult. Uh, a vacation to Universal Studio to watch Terminator 2 3D. Uh, I live in California, so I'm only 35 minutes away to go to Universal Studios. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think I need to go there. Right now, I heard this ride is being replaced by the Spider-Man 3D. I thought Spider-Man was owned by uh, Sony TriStar. Hmm. And series multimedia fun for families. This is old school. Look at this. Old school. Make your computer look like Babylon 5. Make your computer look like Star Wars. I got Terminator. And each cost $29.95 each. Well, now, this is just nothing but a theme pack. Utility disc. A certificate of authenticity. If this is really a certificate of authenticity, Limited to a thousand, a hundred thousand units. Um, where the hell is the serial number? Uh, thank you, sound source. Of course, in all my retro box review, it always has to have the limited edition registration card to presumably giving you software on the net. And the CD comes like this. All it needs is a barcode in the back, and you can just put in a ten dollar CD section. Um, Let's see what this thing has. Well, I'm running Windows 8 right now. No, no, Windows. I'm on my Windows 7 right now. But let's see what it has to offer. The CD. Oh my god, it smells like paint. Ugh. It smells very strong. Okay. Now, this is your boredom. This is your desktop. Mm hmm. Now, I am going to. Um, it's too bad I can't change it. Uh, well, this is my other screen and my other one, but um, what's inside it when I'm scoping through the files is nothing but a bunch of folders of sound clips, depending on this from Terminator. I don't know if you heard that. Come with me if you want to live. I have detailed files on human anatomy. Affirmative. We don't have much time. So if you really know how to make your own theme, you use this to um, basically make change the sound effects of your computer into Terminator. And you know what I do enjoy about it? It does come with all the sound effects that came from the Terminator movies. You know, the... You can hear... And this is a rare, this is this is the sound bites. With no background music.
all original sounds that came from Terminator 2 uh, Judgment Day. And let's see what's up with the wallpaper. Because it does come with wallpapers. Uh, let me see. Choose. Uh, it looks like I can't run it. There's so many things in here that you have to just scope through the CD-ROM like a file explorer. And the wallpapers, I'm not joking. They're nothing but VHS or it came from the laser disc. This is supposed to be a wallpaper. And oh my god, it's really blurry if you could see it in my eyes. Um, it came straight from the laser disc edition. That's all it is. It's just pictures, sound, and you know it's a 650 gig, uh, megabyte uh, CD, not the 700, and it only uses 136 megabytes of, um, of 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 space of your CD. Now screensavers, all right. I love screensavers. Oh wow, it won't work. Um, it looks like it won't work. I'm sorry. Um, since my system is still up to date, I'm just saying that this is what it came with. And something like this, I don't recommend buying it in stores. This is something you would want to buy in the souvenir shop of the Terminator the Ride after, you know, Terminator 3D or whatever. But yeah, this is all it is. Something simple. And coming soon, I am going to have uh, the Terminator um, Bethesda software. Yeah. Hmm. So, I give this box. Box-wise, it's really hard. It makes you... Let me, let me, let me, let me do this, okay? Um, when you have all that stuff in here, stuff in here... It makes you think what's inside, but you know you already saw what's inside. It just says Windows, but it doesn't say which Windows. But um, I really like the Terminator Factory Machine and plus the Skynet um, uh, time um, world time clock. But it makes you think what's inside, and I will not take this sticker off. That's to prove the certificate of authenticity. If it's really worth a lot, let it be worth a while. And look at the violence on this. Not even. Didn't go any higher. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be making another uh, video of uh, Bethesda's, um, you know, games that came out back in the days before this came out. And um, if you can come across this collector's item, please inform me. Make a, a, a video response to me if you have this. So, thank you guys for watching.